guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevor, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so I kind of, um, uh, hmm, how should I put it? There is something I kind of want to do here, and that is do a little bit of a speed run through this whole route right here. Of course, I've already battled the first few people right here, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to be battling everybody. And I mean everybody, but we're going to be pressing the speed button, and I'm going to be talking about a few things here and there and all that stuff. Now, off screen, I did capture some pretty interesting Pokemon, guys. In the Safari Zone, I spent about mm, pretty much a lot of money, and... We got ourselves a nice load of Pokemon. Now let me show you quite a. Uh, let me show you the the Pokemon that we actually captured right here. Some of the rare ones that I actually captured, like Poliswag is one of those guys. And then we ended up capturing ourselves. Let's see, we got ourselves. Uh, let's see, where? I I I, I swear to God, I, I caught a Pokemon here that you guys are gonna definitely love. We caught ourselves Cubone. Got Rhyhorn, obviously. Chansey was hard to catch. Tangela, and then we got Kangaskhan. And I already have plans for these Pokemon right here, but the rarest Pokemon that I have actually captured right here, one of them being Scyther. The level 15 Scyther leaps out of tall grass and slices prey with it with its size. The movement looks like a, that of a ninja. And, uh, well, we kind of named it Cy, uh, Cyblade or something like that. Yes, we kind of named it Cyblade, but the rarest Pokemon that we captured so far happens to be this guy, Dratini. We actually caught two of those Pokemon right here. So as you can see, Dratini, the existence of this mythical Pokemon was only recently confirmed by a fisherman who caught one. And we, we actually saw a dragon. So what's going to happen right here, guys, is that I am actually planning on sending some of these Pokemon to red and blue and actually using them on the team because, well, yeah, hey, you know, you're not going to be able to see... You're not going to be able to see these Pokemon evolve all the way towards the very, you know, towards the Elite Four and all that stuff. Might as well trade them. Might as well trade them and, uh, you know, get everything, uh, you know, going in Pokemon Red and Blue. And like I said, I'm going to be going through a speed run right here because I kind of don't want to, like, you know, showcase everything else right here. I know, I know, I said that I wasn't going to be using the speed button and all that stuff, but... In this situation, it kind of requires it because there are a lot of Pokemon trainers right here. Now, let's see. When am I coming out with the first few episodes for Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green? That is yet to be seen. I'm actually working on it right now. Uh, I know that it's a lot on my table. A lot, of, a lot on my plate right now, I should say. Mainly because, well, you know... Mainly because, uh, what was it? I did this before and it didn't necessarily work out. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to try my best, but you guys will be seeing a lot of these Pokemon uh, being showcased over in Pokemon in Pokemon Stadium. That's my goal right there, is to actually have a team, or to have a, a variety of Pokemon uh, get, get shown in Pokemon Stadium. And, well, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be battling a lot of Pokemon trainers right here. I don't know if we're going to be growing quite a few levels here and there, but, like, Godzilla kind of grew a level. Um, what else did I do off screen? Nothing else. It's just we caught Pokemon that we needed, guys. Um, some of these Pokemon that we're going to be seeing are some of the Pokemon that I've used in the past in my original uh, walkthroughs, and uh, I cannot wait to start using them and all that. It's just it, I got to find the time and whatnot. And well, this guy is kicking some butt, taking some names, and Torpedo just aiming for everybody. Now there are some areas right here where you you can find some grassy areas. Uh, I'm gonna go there later on because there are gonna be quite a few areas where we need to actually, uh, where we actually need to, uh, research some stuff, you know, grab some TMs and whatnot, and, well, let's go ahead and start battling all these Pokemon trainers, and, well, I got strength, and let's go right here, look at that, we're gonna be, we're gonna be finishing up this whole thing quickly, now, I could have done this, I could have done this episodes ago where I just speed button away, but it wouldn't be fair to many of you guys. I, I, I kind of feel like this this area right here, including uh, the, what was it called, the Cycling Road, and the area closest to Viridian City, or Vermilion City, should be, you know, should be speed button away, because, well, you know, there's a lot of trainers, a buttload of trainers and all, and all that, so, that, you know, that right there is what we're going to be doing, we're battling everybody quickly, as quickly as possible, this is not taking 40 minutes or longer, and yes, the goal is to try and get these Pokemon up to, uh, to good levels because we will be taking on Koga in the next episode. It was supposed to be this episode, 
but you know that right there has changed and well here we have more bird type pokemon that right there i didn't know so let's go ahead and uh, do that okay and here we have another pidgeotto so let's get let's get a lead to level 40 and there it is level 40 and let's go straight to speedo torpedo start making all these P uh, pokemon faint and okay so let's just move on ahead right here and I believe there's an item close by here. Yes, we found ourselves a PP up, which I don't think we're gonna be. Yeah, we're yeah we're not we're not gonna be doing much right here. So let's go straight up and find some more Pokemon trainers around here and uh, see what we get. See what we got. Uh, is there anything else that we need to talk about? Yes, we are close to uh, the the end of this walk right here, guys. Uh, believe it or not, this this episode could or. This uh, this walkthrough in general is gonna be very short because it's a uh, you know it's the very first generation and all that stuff, and you know I'm using everything to like every every kind of resource that I have right here to my advantage. That way you know we get a, a, a nice valuable adventure right here. Now let's see, we're gonna take on another trainer right here. We're gonna be using up a boatload of Pokemon, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get these Pokemon up to uh, good levels because uh, Koga is gonna be pretty hard right here. Well, let's go right there. Boosted. And, well, I did teach Torpedo the Surf technique, so that's going to be a little move. You know what? We better go do that. Torpedo is at level 35. I actually thought that Torpedo actually grew to level, or evolved at level 36, but that was uh, way, way wrong right there. Don't know. Must be getting a little older and all that stuff. And, well, let's go with an Acid Attack. And Pidgeys. Yes. So Razor getting some experience points. We're trying to get this guy to go up to levels, and yes, we have defeated bird-type Pokemon with a grass-type, and, well, there's two more trainers right here. Now, if you guys go back to the original Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, including Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, you guys can actually see that, you know, these areas take a long time to actually complete. It's, again, it's one of my, it was, it's one of my most dreaded areas because, you know, there's so many trainers around here. Don't know why Pokemon did that. So many dungeons, so many areas that you know you don't necessarily need to actually complete. I mean, I mean you could use the, the leveling up, but it's too many Pokemon now. Normally we would stop right here because, yeah, you would think it would be done, but no, it's not that. And here we are again. Okay, like I was saying, uh, yeah, it's you would think that you know you would need that many trainers, but holy crud, it's a lot of trainers. And well, there we go. Okay, so, let's see, let's go right ahead and switch out to the Pokemon, let's go with Godzilla now, we need to get Godzilla to level, we need to get Godzilla to level 40, because, we need to get to level 40, because, well, you know, Koga doesn't necessarily use a lot of poison type Pokemon, nor does his gym, they just use poison type moves, and that's kind of annoying, so let's go right ahead and continue on go and well we're gonna be going straight forward right here again there are a buttload of trainers here guys this is the reason why i'm doing this and more than likely i'm going to be doing it for the cycling road once we get over there too so there we go coming out with the mug so this is a very good chance to actually just beat this guy the more evolution pokemon the more leveling up you get so we're close to level 40 right there for this pokemon let's go right ahead and let's see sir razor can actually beat this guy, but that I kind of feel like that guy is a what was it called? Uh, another bird trainer. So let's go straight to Ultra Psycho and battle this guy. Like I said, and he's got himself a Farfetch. Now you can capture a Farfetch in this game, believe it or not, guys. You just have to go into the right location, which you know I pretty much am, and go. And well, this guy is in for a battle. Come on, come on, let's go. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna keep on speeding. Now, again, sorry guys, I know I didn't. I know I said that I'm not gonna be using the speed button, but yeah, desperate times come for or call for desperate measures. This area right here is just one of those locations, and look at that, Ultra Psycho is finally learning Psychic. So let's go right ahead and teach it over Psybeam right there. Now that's less. That's actually less PP. So what we're gonna do right here is we're actually gonna give the PP to. Ultra Psycho's uh, Psychic Attack. That way, you know, we get an extra power point right there. And, well, here we go. Battling some trainers. 
Let's go with the Psychic. Yeah, right. Okay, so it gives two extra PPs and all that stuff, so that's good. Fantastic. And, and let's go straight again. And there we go. And here we go again. And look at that. Psychic Attack. Yes, this Pokemon has become the ultimate cheat code. Now, right now, like I guess you could say that I'm pre-planning the teams for Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green. I'm still trying to figure out if you can actually trade Pokemon from uh, Green to Yellow and... Uh, and on if I can't then you know it, it's just gonna be red and blue it's gonna be red and blue and I'm gonna try and figure out the the home locations for these Pokemon right here because I do have plans for Kangaskhan I do have plans for Kangaskhan and, and Scyther I just want to use them and all that stuff the only problem is that there are again the cap uh, the, the level gap or cap is going to be something right there for these upcoming games and well, as you can see, we're just breezing through these guys, and just like that, we, 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 we're kicking some butt right here. Look at how many trainers we get. Do you guys not see why I want to do this? God dang it. And well, let's go right ahead and do another one right here. Ember, and we're at level 40, so let's go ahead and switch out and use our good old Ultra Psycho right here. We're going to just start with this guy right here, level 39. So, let's see, we got three, potentially three Pokemon at level 40. Let's go with the full heal right here, and there we go, and let's continue on right here, battling this guy. Let's go, and of course he's going to be having poison type Pokemon, so we're going to be using the heck out of our, our uh, psychic attack right here. And that is just to evolve this, po or not to evolve this Pokemon, but to try and level him up to level 40. And again, six more trainers, or six trainers in all, like, if you guys have been keeping track, there's about, like, at least 20 trainers, maybe 30. I could, I could be exaggerating. I don't know. And we picked the wrong Pokemon for this situation, so, let's see. Ultra Psycho. And yes, we have been put to sleep. Let's go ahead and use a full heal. And full heal again, full heal again. And this time, you are going down, and Oddish is coming out. So now, we're going to just we're gonna have to be using our Seismic Toss right here. There we go. And again, we are poisoned. Now, oh, dang. How many times, uh, oh, wrong Pokemon. How many times have we gotten poisoned? We haven't gotten paralyzed as of lately. That's the funny thing. We, we, we haven't gotten, yeah, there was not a lot of paralysis that, that's been going on right here. And, well, I raise Pokemon because I live alone. Okay, so Beauty, like you, wants to live alone. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Ultra Psycho. We're going to try and get this Pokemon to level 40. And here it comes out. She comes out with a... Yes, level 40. And Ivysaur has been defeated. Look at that. Okay. Now, if you're playing Pokemon... If you're playing a VBA, okay? If you're playing the VBA uh, emulator, do realize this, that if you... If you go, uh, if you speed up everything, it will speed up the amount of uh, time that you've actually spent on this game. This is a reason to why my gameplay is up to like at least 30 minutes in a, or 30 hours and above because, well, I've been pressing the speed button. As you can see right here, we're up to close to 60 hours, and I have not, like, I, nece I haven't necessarily been up to 60 hours right here. It's just the speed button, and uh, you know. Eventually, we're going to be maxing this out because, well, yes, good old Draven is actually doing what he promised to do, and that is capture a boatload of Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and not take on that guy. And holy crud. That Pokemon is a little strong. And let's go with Terramon right here. And, uh, you know, Terramon's the next Pokemon that we kind of need to grow the levels and, and stuff. So let's go ahead and switch that out. And bird type Pokemon and wow <laughs> yeah we used our best moves against these guys and well let's go ahead and continue on right here using strength and and just like that we have defeated most of the trainers holy crud yeah look at that so many trainers guys it, this is the reason why I'm doing this because it's, it's annoying and I wonder if Earth, yeah earthquake does work perfectly on poison type Pokemon and let's go with strength there we go, and we have defeated this Pokemon. 
Okay, so that right there is the end of that chapter. And if you go into this area right here and come up this area, you're going to be finding the professor's aide. And he's like, hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught at least 50 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an experience all. So, Draven, have you caught at least 50 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, I have. I've caught 53. And, well, here we are getting an experience all. The experience ball, uh, the experience all experience points to all Pokemon with you, even if they didn't fight. It does, however, reduce the amount of experience for each Pokemon. If you don't need it, you should store it in the via PC. Okay, so that right there is not like the, P the experience uh, all that we have right now. And if you go right here, a large shiny bird is uh, flying towards the sea. And here we have an Articuno. So what we're going to do is, yes, we are actually going to... Uh, yeah, we're actually going to put that experience all into the PC because we definitely don't need it right now. Uh, so, let's see. In this episode, okay, we're going to be done with this episode, guys. I I know it's, uh, it's a lot of speed buttoning, a lot of stuff, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I, you know, I kind of wanted to do this because, well... I really didn't want to face any of these Pokemon trainers uh, live. I didn't want to spend another 40 minutes doing this. I kind of wanted to train up my Pokemon to, uh, to get to Koga. So, in the next episode, we're going to be going to the Cycling Road and other places that we have not battled. Uh, there is another place that we have not battled uh, all these trainers. It's going to be They're going to be under-leveled, but you know it's going to be a nice time to actually talk about things. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button, all that stuff. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the link is in the description. I will see you guys in the next episode as we face off more trainers with, you know, the speed button. See you guys.